Posters have again appeared stressing the people of Jammu and Kashmir to raise their voice with unity to resist the anti-Kashmir policies of BJP's Hindutva government in India. Posters displayed by Jammu and Kashmir Resistance Movement, Jammu and Kashmir Democratic Movement and Jammu and Kashmir People's Resistance Party were pasted on walls, pillars and poles in Srinagar and adjoining areas pointing to a do or die situation for the Kashmiri people. People's Democratic Party President Mehbooba Mufti launching a fierce attack on the Modi-led Indian regime over the recent killings, including that of a Kashmiri Pandit in Pulwama, has asked the Indian government if the militancy is eroded from the valley, then why New Delhi is putting thousands of Kashmiri people in jails in the name of militancy. New Delhi's effort to shape what it calls Nya Kashmir or New Kashmir have been largely silenced with their civil liberties curbed as India has shown no tolerance for any form of dissent, so writes the US-based news agency The Associated Press. AP writes Indian authorities revived a government-sponsored militia and began rearming and training thousands of villagers, including some teenagers. India is working on a sinister plan to collect computerized data of all Kashmiri youth and their properties to take away their life and land after branding them as terrorists. In this regard, the Director General of Police Dilbagh Singh has issued directives for timely digitalization of all records of what he said, all militants, overground workers, anti-national elements, their friends and properties across the occupied territory. An Indian paramilitary Central Reserve Police Force man committed suicide in Rajori district. CRPF man identified as Siti Sarit ended his life by shooting himself dead with his service rifle in Nushera area of the district on Tuesday. One Indian soldier was killed and another injured in an attack in Pulwama district today. Attack took place in Avantipura area of the district on Tuesday morning, leaving one Indian soldier dead and another injured. Body of a young boy, the second one in less than 24 hours, was found under mysterious circumstances in South Kashmir's Kulgam district. Body of a 17-year-old Umran Hussain was found lying unconscious near his residence. President Dr. Arif Alvi has said India's disinformation campaign against Pakistan is in full swing, which needed to be countered by acquiring cyber strength. India had not learned a lesson even after the EU disinfo lab had exposed its anti-Pakistan nefarious propaganda.